I can't just sleep with this thing I'm hearing. What are you doing here? You don't look okay, what's the problem? Sister loveth, thank God you are here. Something is making noise in this room, but I can't seem to know what it is. Did you hear it? Listen carefully. She's right. The sound is coming from the spirit of Mr. Mike trapped inside the bottle. He's constantly trying to escape back into his body. I kept it hidden behind the cupboard. I hope Lizzie doesn't find it because I will be in big trouble. I should do something to distract her attention. No, no. Let me go. Why did you put me in here? Loveth. Loveth. Are you with me? Oh. I was lost in deep thoughts, but I didn't hear anything, Lizzie. Let us just go to bed, I'm tired. I had so much fun with Loveth, my sweetheart. I can't wait to see her tomorrow at the office. Honey, you going to bed already? You didn't even ask how my day went, or ask about your babies. What is going on, please tell me. Stop treating me this way. I really need you in this pregnancy and you are distancing yourself from it. Why? I don't know what you are talking about. The pregnancy is fine as I can see. What else do you want me to do for you about it? It's not like I can carry it from you because even if I wanted, I couldn't. So stop disturbing my life with something impossible and irrelevant. I have a long day tomorrow, so I need to sleep now. Good night. Honey, you've changed so much in a short time. Is it the pregnancy that is affecting you? Please tell me. Is it because I added so much weight? But it's normal for a woman to add some weight during pregnancy. I promise you, I will lose these baby fat once I put to bed. Your appetite has become very massive, that's why you are adding too much weight. Learn to control your appetite. You now eat like a glutton. But, it's not my fault that I'm eating too much, I'm having twins. And I need to eat to stay healthy. You didn't have problems with my weight before, so why has it become a problem to you all of a sudden? You even said it was good for the pregnancy. Just leave me alone. I was about going to bed when you came in. Unless you want me to leave this room for you and go look for somewhere else to sleep. Good night. I can't wait to have these babies so I can return to my normal shape. I no longer look appetizing to him because of my pregnancy. This is becoming too much for me to bear. I don't think, crying from now till tomorrow, will help me in any way. I will wipe my tears and go to bed. After all, he is sleeping already. No, no. Let me go. Why did you put me in here? No, no. Mike, please help me. Help me get out from this bottle. I want to be free. It's 6 a.m. I think I have to start getting ready for the day. I remember, I had a dream last night. I think I saw myself inside some kind of bottle. How can a human being be inside a conch bottle? It's completely impossible. That must be some stupid dream. Anyways... I hope to see Loveth today. I will take her to a very nice restaurant after work. She is such a fun lady to be with. Where's my husband? He's not in the bed. Has he gone to work? Maybe he's in the bathroom. Let me go check in there. Babe. Babe, are you in there? He's nowhere to be found. That means, he already left for work. He left without saying good morning, he didn't even eat his breakfast, what is going on in my marriage, how can I find out if this pregnancy is actually the cause of his behavior or is there something else that I did, at least he should tell me so I can apologize instead of keeping me in suspense. Mike's attitude is draining my energy. I don't have any strength to prepare for work today. I'm no longer happy in this marriage. We quarrel every single time over trivial things. Who's calling? It's Judy. Let me answer it. Hello sis, how are you? I was calling to check up on you. How's the babies doing? I hope they are both kicking mommy's tummy now. 
You don't sound happy, what's the matter, please tell me. Do you know what, I'm coming over to your place now. What could be the problem with her? I must go find out. So, big sis, your husband is a very lovely and loving person. His type is very rare to find. It's strange, if in recent times, he started behaving like he never did before. Something must be wrong somewhere. Are you sure you didn't do anything to him? Nothing that I can remember. No quarrels prior to that. Just the normal arguments and quarrel that couples have from time to time. Will you want me to talk to him on your behalf to find out what's hurting him? Maybe I give him a little more time. He might come around soon. Okay. Won't you go to work? You look unprepared. Judy, his behavior is exhausting me emotionally. I don't think I can make it to work today. Stressing during pregnancy transfers the stress to the baby in the womb, so I don't want you to get yourself worked up because of this. Like you said, he will come around soon. Okay. I will be going. Are you going straight to the hospital? No, I'm going to see Pastor Thompson in the church, then, from there, I will go to the hospital. My regards to him. Take good care of yourself. Bye. That reminds me. The last time I saw Pastor Thompson, he asked me to pray against the spirit of strange woman in the life of my husband. It's been like five months or more. Could it be there's something he saw that made him say what he said? Then, I didn't take it serious, because there wasn't any reason for me to believe otherwise. Maybe, I'm overthinking this. I will make out time to go see him in the church. What's going on between this two? What are they discussing? They are behaving like two lovebirds. Did Loveth use charm to get this man or what? I can't believe this. Mr. Mike never liked her from the beginning, all of a sudden, he's all over her. This is getting too much. She will implicate this man one day if he doesn't take his time. I will see you in my office after the meeting. I'm right behind you, my darling. Carla, did you notice how Loveth and Mr. Mike kept looking at each other during the meeting? It was very irritating. Couldn't they control themselves? I thought he's a married man. How can a married man behave in such a manner, and in public too? It's no longer news that the both of them are seeing each other. It's very shameful. Is the manager aware of this? Because if it's investigated, they will both be in trouble. Love if you are here? Yes. I can't wait to have you again this evening. What is going on here? Mike. Nothing, sir. We were just discussing about the meeting and the way forward. That was so close. I came to collect the file. See me in my office with it. Okay, sir. Sir, that's the file. Is there something going on between you and Loveth that I need to know? Because it's not allowed in this company, and if I find out, you will be in big trouble. So better put an end to it if there is. No, sir. There's nothing going on between us. We were just discussing. Let it better be what you told me. You can return to your office. That was so close. We were nearly caught today. When is the court hearing starting? What's the problem? You don't look happy. It's this pregnancy. I'm tired of it. I can't wait to put to bed, so I get back to my shape as quickly as possible. Why would you say that? Carrying another life inside you is a beautiful thing. And your shape is not bad. You think so? Why then is my husband saying I'm out of shape now and not appealing to him anymore? Is that what he said? From everything you said, I don't think the pregnancy is what is making him behave like that, to the point of not coming home, sometimes. It has nothing to do with your new shape or pregnancy. Are you sure he's not seeing another woman outside of your marriage? I mean, that's the only thing that can explain why a married man would want to sleep outside of his home. Really? My mind never crossed it, because of how we have been in the past few years of our marriage. 
but there is so much sense in what you are saying. I think we have to slow down for now, especially in the office. The manager is suspecting. Mike, I want you to leave your wife and come live with me at my place. Okay. Give me some time, so I'll get things ready. You know, your wish is always my command. Finally, some private time with you. I'm going home to get my things. I'm moving in with you today. Bye. I will wait for him to return to this house, then I will ask him the big questions. I won't keep quiet. It's obvious there is another woman somewhere. Where are you coming from, Mike? From the office. Why do I have to answer that? But I called your office, and they said you left since 12 noon. Is there another woman that I need to know about, Mike? Tell me. Get out from my way. I came to pick my bags. I'm leaving this house for you. Please don't leave me. Let go of me. Please, my husband, don't leave me in this pregnancy. The house feels so empty without him. My beautiful world have come crumbling before me. You asked me to come to your house. You mean your husband left this house for weeks now and hasn't come home since then? Did he travel out of state? I don't think he traveled anywhere. We have to trace him from his office every day to know exactly where he's sleeping. Don't worry, I will help you, we will both go together anytime we want to trace him. I know the pregnancy is weighing you down. Oh thank you so much my good friend. You are a good friend. We will go tomorrow. I think it's best we go with my car. Okay. We are going to his office. I just need you to direct me there. We will spy on him from a distance. Okay. Hello Mr. Mike, can I have a word with you? Yes, go ahead. What you are doing with love if the company's secretary is not good in the sight of God. I beg you in the name of what you hold dear, to stop it. I didn't mean to disrespect, but when you came into this company newly, I saw you as a responsible and God-fearing man. Thoughts all I wanted to say. She is right. God is not happy I left my wife. We will pack here and wait for him to come out. Okay. That is him. He's with a lady from his office. She's even going into his car. This is serious. Who's the lady with him? Do you know her? Quick, let's follow them. I must find out today where he sleeps every day. Look at them. That's where he must be sleeping, in that woman's house. I can't believe he can do this. Your plans are working perfectly. But loveth, I want to ask for something. What is it? Can I have the number of that other man you were crushing on before Mike? He's my spec. Since you now have Mike, let me have that other one. Hmm. <laughs> Look at this one. Local champion wants to upgrade to my levels. I will never give you his contact. What do you mean by that? Local champion, I'm better than you on everything, so stop the ego. I won't give you his number, not today, not tomorrow. Never. Loveth wants to try what I can do. She will see. I will destroy her. I will expose all her secrets. I will go in and confront the both of them. I can't just keep quiet after finding out where he sleeps. After all, he's my husband and I am pregnant with his babies. So Mike, this is where you are. Why are you doing this to me? Oh. Marry my wife. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, I will come home to you and my babies. Who's outside with Mike? Let me check. Mike, what are you doing here? And who is she? She is my wife. I want to go home. What did you just say? Will you get inside the house now? Okay. I'm going inside. Mike, are you leaving me here? He's mine now. Better go home. This is not ordinary. 
How can this lady be commanding my husband like this and he will simply obey her, just like that? Something is not adding up. It's fishy. She orders him to go inside, and he said okay without arguing. He actually wanted to follow me home. What type of bondage is this? Now, I see why Pastor Thompson asked me to pray against the spirit of strange women. He must have seen this but I was too weak to understand the things he was talking about then. I have to put on the armor of God and pray, because what I saw today with my two eyes is heavy and bigger than me. You asked me to come and meet you here. What is it? By the way, who did you say you are again? My name is Grace. I work in the same company with your husband. Loveth, your husband's mistress is my friend. I'm not here to waste your time. I want to help you get back your husband. Loveth is your friend, yet you want to help me get my husband back. How is it possible? How can I trust you because you are her friend? I want to take revenge on her and that's why I'm here to lick her secret. What's this secret you talk about? Your husband is acting based on charm. It's not ordinary. What she's using to control your husband is a very strong and powerful charm. She has caged the spirit of your husband in a bottle, through the help of a native priest. She cleaned his face with some demonic handkerchief and she took it back to the shrine where they invoked your husband's spirit and locked it in a bottle. The only way to get back your husband is through prayers. That's what I believe. Oh my god. My eyes have seen my ears today. My ears have heard what I never knew is possible. How did you know all these? Like I said before, she's my friend. How I knew is irrelevant. The important thing is that you now know the battle ahead of you. Anyways, thank you very much. Pastor, someone has used charm to collect my husband from me. Please I need prayers. Help me pray for my husband so the charm can be broken. What's going on Mary? Wipe your tears and tell me what happened. This is not something you do with force. We need to pray first so that the Holy Spirit will direct our footsteps. Wife your tears. You think so? I know so. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No, there's nothing too hard for Him. We will confront her in three days after intense prayers. Pastor, that the house of the lady who took my husband from me. He has been living here and has refused to come home to me and my children because this woman controls him like a puppet. Let's go knock at the door. If she opens, then we take it from there. Who are you? And how can I help you? Provide my husband for me, you this woman. If you touch me again, you will see what I will do to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, strange woman. I command you to become frustrated and exposed now. I will talk. Please. I will talk. I locked her husband's spirit in a bottle, so I control him physically. What is going on here? I frustrate the powers of strange women over your marriage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic charm of strange woman operating in your life, I render it powerless now. It shall no longer have effect over you in Jesus' name. Any woman that is making you abandon your home, may she come under the judgment of God in Jesus' name. Let frustration be the portion of any strange woman, militating your marriage in Jesus' name. Thunder of fire of God, begin to scatter to pieces every stronghold of strange woman in Jesus' name. I decree your soul to escape from the snare of the strange woman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What is going on? <laughs> What am I doing here, Pastor Thompson? And why am I dressed almost naked? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mary, my sweet wife, let's go home. No, no. Bring him back. Come back, Mike. You belong to me now, not her. What is this bottle I found behind the cupboard? That's the bottle loveth trap the spirit of that married man who has been living here for some time now. I must break it so he can be truly free from her control. Love it, I'm going to break this bottle now, so that man's spirit can be completely free and return to his body. Please don't break it, I beg you my sister. But if it's not broken, he will still be under your spell. That is true. 
I wanted to bring him back to myself using that bottle. You see what I am saying? I will break it because it's absolute wickedness to break the marriage of your fellow innocent woman. Why did you do that to me? I'm finished. What's happening to my sister? Is she running mad? Bless you. Thank you. I'm happy to be home where I belong. Oh, my tummy. I think the babies are about to come. Really? Let's go to the hospital immediately. Honey, congratulations to us. Thank you, babe. Let's go see our babies. They are so beautiful and cute. Our family is complete.